How close are you to a cell site? Look around your neighborhood. It could be disguised as a palm or a pine tree, a bell tower, or it could be on a tall building. If you are within a thousand feet, you are probably in the range of RF radiation from these cell sites, which can be dangerous to you and your family. Why do I say this? Why do I say that radiation can be dangerous? Well, the World Health Organization has labeled RF microwave radiation as a class 2B possible carcinogenic. This is the same category as DDT, lead, and car exhaust. Do you have trouble sleeping? Do you have ringing in your ears? Do you feel tired after a night's sleep? Perhaps there is a possibility that the RF radiation may be affecting your health. Just take a look at the warning label on the cell site. Let's read it together. Notice, radio frequency fields beyond this point may exceed the FCC general public exposure limit. Hi, my name is Holly. I have been studying the exposure risks of RF radiation for the last 10 years. Here is my story. I have lived on this street in North San Diego County nearly all my life. Several years ago, a telecommunication cell site was installed on the utility pole along the street right outside my home. Here is the utility pole. It actually is a shared antenna pole that has several carriers antennas like Sprint, AT&T, Verizon. And here's the warning sign we just read together posted on this pole. Okay, should this be a concern? You bet, and here is why. Here is a radio frequency meter, also known as an RF meter. It reads levels of RF radiation. Look at the reading as I stand 20 feet from the pole. At times, the readings even go over the capability of this meter. That is when we see a 1 on the left-hand side, like here. Of course, the readings get lower the further you are away from the pole, but the bottom line is that our bodies have no threshold for the RF radiation in this range. My bedroom is only 100 yards from this antenna. Here is the reading in my bedroom. It shows I'm getting bombarded with high radiation. The radiation might be coming from other sources and not just the cell site. So in any event, I need to protect my sleep area, my bedroom. And this is what, I, this is what I'm doing to take action. First of all, I wrapped the outside corner of my home in copper screen and grounded the screen. This is my friend John who is helping me on this project. Here is a picture of how the screen is being installed and grounded. Second, I painted my bedroom with special paint that blocks the radiation. It is called Y-Shield EMR protection. My friend John is shown here painting my room with a coat of this Y-Shield paint. After he is finished with a coat, he grounds the walls and the ceiling. Fortunately, I can paint over the black of the shielding paint with whatever color I want. I liked the original cream color of my room, so I have returned my room to its original look. Of course, with the shielding paint now underneath. Third, I put copper screen over my windows and grounded each screen. Even the White House uses protective screening to block invasive electric magnetic radiation. They also use it to prevent eavesdropping. Of course, all this is top secret. Now that I have taken these steps, check out the readings in my bedroom. Notice the RF meter shows the levels of RF have dropped significantly both at the window and on the bed. Although I am concerned about the radiation coming from the cell site outside my home, the RF could be coming from other sources. It could be from a smart meter that the utility companies are putting on homes everywhere. 
Smart meters emit RF radiation 24 hours a day. These smart meters can be shielded. Check out smartmetershield.com to learn how to protect your home and family. The benefit of the smart meter shield is that it reduces the radiation while still allowing the utility company to get their readings. There are many easy things you can do to protect your home and your family from the RF radiation and dirty electricity that surrounds us daily. I have written an ebook on the subject, giving one 12 easy steps you can take today to reduce the electric magnetic fields in your home. Just visit emfhealthalert.com and sign up for your copy today.